Good morning, family. How is everyone doing here this wonderful, wonderful Wednesday morning? Good morning, good morning, good morning. You have down into the team after the lifestyle call where we always say you will hear something that will move you from sex to faith to action. And here at Tina the Network, we know what today is Wednesday for the last 12 or 13 years. Nonstop paycheck has gone out every Wednesday around the world as a reminder that you are doing a great thing. You have done something that has enhanced someone's life, their health, and their wealth by sharing the great news and the wonderful things that we do here in Team at the Network. So congratulations to you for spreading the word. Well, family, this is your host, Pastor Nish McDowell, and um, along with my business partner, two star, Pastor Bill Wafer. And the line is open. Please go right ahead. Introduce yourself. Where are you calling in from? Happy payday, everybody in Team Ever Network. <laughs> Boy, somebody's happy. Congratulations, Robert. Yes, indeed, indeed. It is payday, indeed. And that sounds like you've been doing a great job. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> you know, Robert, you're also one of our one of our top retailers. So you have no issues, no problem at all sharing this phrase. And, and to even your cold and your warm market. Right, Robert? That's correct. <laughs> I just talk to everybody I can. Well, within three feet, I can talk to them. <laughs> well, you're making a huge difference. Thank you, Robert, for all that you do. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I'm keeping the family who else is with us this morning. So, right here, introduce yourself. Yeah. yeah. Jesse Bowden, call from the pen. Hey, Jesse, how are you, sir? Hey, outstanding, Pastor Denise. Good morning. Hey, outstanding, Pastor Denise. Looking forward to tomorrow's hey, TTP. I heard, look, you know, the word getting out about good work is, you know, when, you, when you're when doing something good, people talk about you. So, just I heard you've been down with everybody you know to get them to that TTP tomorrow. Oh, absolutely. We're going to make it a full house. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Somebody's going to be driving on the Brad and Mercedes pretty soon. <laughs> John Joseph, Henry Gale, California. <laughs> Hello, John Joseph. How are you, sir? <laughs> good morning there, Pastor. Doing wonderful. Good morning, sir. I know you can have some great things on the call tonight, tonight, right, Don? Yes, yes. Turn up the heat. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. <laughs> Welcome to the call. Well, family, this is with you. Go right ahead and introduce yourself. Gregory Marshall, Cincinnati, Ohio. Hey, Gregory. How are you, sir? I am fabulous. How are you, Pastor Denise? I am doing fabulous right along with you. <laughs> All right. It's good to be fabulous. <laughs> yes, indeed it is. And, Gregory, I see you stay up late on social media just as late as I do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Say that again, please. I said I see you stay up late on social media just as late as I do. Oh, yeah. I am up very late. I'm a night owl. <laughs> hey, that's what they say. Get it done. Get it done. Right, Gregory? Yeah, I hear about that early word catches early bird catches the worm, but you know what? If you're up late enough, you can get that worm and it's coming out of the hole. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you're right. Oh, well, welcome to the club, Gregory. Keep it coming, Sally. Who's with us this morning? Go right ahead and introduce yourself. Frida, Frida Jackson, Grandma Heights, Maryland. Hey. Frida, how are you, lady? <laughs> I'm doing just great. How are you today? I'm doing fabulous, as Nikisha would say. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Good to hear you this morning. Sandy yeah. Goen, Springdale, Maryland. Sandy, we got to call you Slim Trim Girl. Slim Trim is in the house. How are you? I'm still working on it. Just finished having another one. Ooh, girl, I tell you, you're looking good, Sandy. Thank you. I'm working on that, it. That, that trim by trim is doing that little dancing that you do is making a difference, right? Yes, it is. It does make a difference, that's for sure. <laughs> great, great, great job. Well, Sandra, get ready to mute out. If you haven't given your name, go right ahead. I passed the name Trudy and Stan Herndon. Hi, is that Julie? Trudy. Hi, Judy. How are you? Kentucky, Trudy and Stan. Oh, Trudy! How are you? How are you? Girl, what can I tell you, young lady? 
lovely young lady. I haven't told you since you got married. You better go, girl. I know. I know. We've been very busy. <laughs> so, well, congratulations to you. Good to hear you, Trudy. Thank you. Good to hear you. And since then, our love. I sure will. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. The conference is now in presentation mode. Your line is muted. So oh, good to hear each and every one of your voices this morning. It's such a joy uh, to wake up to every morning. Isn't it great to start the morning off good with the, your loved ones and your family and your friends and hear all the passion and all the great news from California to Louisville to Dayton, Ohio, to Atlanta, Georgia, to Washington, D.C., to Pentagon, from around the globe. People are joining together to make a difference in the world. And I think it's a part of everybody's passion. It's a part of everybody's DNA to want to make a difference in someone's life. And this is exactly what we offer here in Team Epic Network. And we have discovered the last couple of years that we have been uh, partaking of these amazing vitamin sprays that you can get your health back to where you want it. You can get your wealth back to where you want it. You can set goals and you can dream big and you can watch them become reality and it all started just a just a couple of years ago not even two years ago when we were introduced to the wonderful vitamin sprays here at team effort network and, uh, and 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 you know the vitamin d continues to be our number one product everyone really wants the vitamin d when you have attended a ttp where you get to hear the product presentation and the compensation plan after every presentation you know folks are saying look I need to get me some of that vitamin D. As you begin to Google um, vitamin D deficiency, you will see all the different types of conditions that's linked to that. So the vitamin D is essential. It's good for everyone, children and babies. We were doing a, a training. Maureen, uh, executive family member Maureen Murphy Smith and I were doing a training session yesterday with some team members, and there was a little girl in the room, and she walked into her mom. She says, Mom, do you have the spray? I think she was about maybe four years old. She says, Mom, do you have the spray? It's time to spray me. And I said, oh, my gosh, that was just so beautiful. This little girl going to eat her little, her little dinner, but she wanted her vitamin. She wanted her vitamin D. Her mom says, God, so she pulled out and just sprayed it in her little mouth. And I said, that's wonderful when children start saying, I need my vitamins. Spray me my vitamins. And, you know, you're doing something great for them. Uh, so we have an amazing part of vitamin D, not by itself because the D boost is just as powerful, and we need that D boost to give us that lovely energy, that good energy to keep us going throughout the day, keeping us in good moods instead of those little crazy moods that some people are suffering with. <laughs> I know Paul Jackson many times when he's doing the presentation, he says, if you see somebody at work and they're in a bad mood, just spray them with the D boost. It'll lift them right up. So I, as I suggest you do that. If somebody's at work and they're having a bad day and they haven't heard about the spray, just give them a spray and just watch them. Just, you know, just enjoy that moment. So take it, you know, take that positive list to say, hey, open your mouth. I got something for you. And give them a beep boost, you know, and watch their day just get better. And the Slim by 10, I mean, the Slim by 10, along with our amazing uh, health energy drink, uh, the Trim by 10. Oh, my goodness. It's just giving people the results that they have been longing for. We know that the um, the obesity industry is over uh, a $49 billion a year industry where uh, people are just trying to find ways to shed those unwanted pounds. And we have something as simple as a spray, as sweet as a drink, that helps them to get to where they want to be and to feel good and to get that healthy digestive system. There's nothing like having a good, healthy gut, you know, to feel good around that midsection and to help you to enjoy your day. And then the super 10. It helps to cleanse away all those toxins and gives you a good REM sleep at night, building up your immune system, just giving your body the nutrition it's longing for, and not to be outdone by the cell energy. The cell energy with the glutathione, the number one master molecule in the body, going to work, working as an army to war off, uh, uh, you know, the war off free radicals and metal that's in your cells and to kill off those dead cells and to revive those new ones so that you can just feel good at a cellular energy. Uh, so what we're offering here, um, you know what, family, as we know, we keep hearing every day, people are looking for it. So thank you all for being a part of spreading good news. And let's do even more. Let's double what we're doing as far as getting the word out on social media, flyers and posts and setting up your 
your health fairs and getting the word out there to massive of audience so they can see what they're looking for. It's here. We have a solution. Uh, so let me stop here and bring on my business partner, Two Star, Pastor Jill Wafer. Are you there this morning, sir? And if not, what we're going to do, as you know, this is Wednesday. Not only is this Payton, it hasn't been a lot of Hello? You there, Pastor Oh, no, Jill? sorry. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no. Uh, just wanted to just encourage people, uh, you know, this box, these, these trim packages are moving fast, guys. And uh, you, you really, if you, if you really haven't got on the, on the trim wagon, you need to get on the trim wagon <laughs> because there's people. I mean, listen, they, you know, you've given them two or three packages, and now they're like, I want a whole box. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this stuff is working far beyond what we imagined that it would be doing. And uh, people are losing inches, they're losing weight, and they're doing it in such rapid pace that uh, it's catching on real, real fast. So. We want to encourage you. If you have not gotten your customers uh, on trim, uh, you have not talked to people about the trim that you know need to lose weight or just better, need to have a better health overall, you definitely want to do that. And, you know, today is payday. And as you begin to move your product and you begin to, you know, bring people into this business to see this opportunity, let me tell you, uh, your payday is going to increase every week, you know, every month you're going to see an increase, a bump in your pay. And uh, we got involved in this business. And if you look back at what you saw when you saw the presentation, there was a reason why you joined this business. Uh, it one, to help people, but also to help yourself financially. So don't forget why you started this business. Uh, sometimes we can just get caught up in, you know, just the day, to, day in, day out, just doing things. But don't forget that you have to stay focused on your business and build your business. Uh, I think it was Vicki Soto who said, you know, if you're just doing what comes along in your business, you're not really in business, okay? Yeah. So you really have to have a plan for your business. Talking to somebody every day, I'm encouraging you, talk to five people a day about your business, about your new product. You ought to be excited about this new product, and you ought to be telling everybody about what your company, listen, I tell people this, I say, hey, listen, I'm in a health, I have a health and wellness company, and we just came out with a brand new product. Man, they don't know this part. This company is, is, is Mel and Amy. They think it's mine. I, this is my company. <laughs> okay. I have a health and wellness company. You gotta, you gotta really begin to address and begin to speak as though this is yours. You have a vested interest in the success of your business, and in doing so, it'll be a success for the brand. I'm totally interrupting you. Throw that in for you. <laughs> I love it, twin. You know, and and this is what we're in the health and wellness, and it's as simple as letting people know I have something that you need. Not just something that you want, but something that you need. And, um, you know, we spoke yesterday about the importance of writing your goals. You know, what are you going to do? You write that goal. Write it down so you know where you're going, where you want to go in this company because guess what? It's being offered. Whatever you want is being offered. As a family, thank you, Pastor Dale. Family, as you know, it's this Wednesday and we bring on our biologist, our Shakina Day, who comes on every Wednesday just packing us up with wonderful information. This is a very good call to have your guests and ask a lot of questions about what's this the vitamin space, how do they work with the body, you know, how do you know this and how do you know that? Well, get them on this call on Wednesday, and they're going to hear some phenomenal things. So let us welcome to the call once again, superstar biologist Shakina Day. Shakina, are you there? I'm here. Good morning. How's everyone? Good morning. <laughs> I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. I cannot complain. <laughs> I know that's right. Cause ain't nobody listening, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a spray for that anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we have a spray for that. Well, I'm excited. It's Wednesday. What are you going to share with us today? Well, today I wanted to talk about um, pretty much um, the 10 things that you can do to help maintain a successful, healthy lifestyle. And it's very important, you know, that we sit down and think about exactly what is it that we want to achieve out of our life. You know, a lot of times we're just getting caught up in just going to work, come home, you know, fam a little family time, and then we do it all over again. But 
it's life is more than that. So what is it that you really want to achieve within your life? You know, and one thing, um, the first thing I want to start with is number one, you should create a goal. So whatever your goals are, if you want to lose weight, you know, if you want to become debt free, you know, if you want to, you know, build a business, um, whatever it is, create a goal. That's the most important. You know, if you don't have a goal, you're, it's something, a goal is going to help you obtain whatever it is that you want to obtain. You know, if you want to lose weight, that goal, looking at that goal on a day-to-day basis is going to help you obtain that. Goals propel you forward. So they do everything possible to help you push your way to in, in towards reaching your goal. Goals transform insurmountable mountains into walkable hills. They actually allow you to reach those goals that you have, whatever it may be, you know, just writing those goals down and creating those are so very important. Goals help us believe in ourselves, even when we don't believe in ourselves. Goals hold you accountable and goals also motivate, motivate you. So sometimes we have to find something that helps motivate us, whether it be a picture, if we're trying to lose weight, whether it be listening to a video, whether it's a a quote, whatever it is, put it somewhere, print it out, put it on something um, to where you can look at it every day in your bathroom. You can look at it every morning when you get up, you know, put it on your dresser, put it in your, in your car somewhere any place, you know, where you know that you can look at that consistently, you know, do a screenshot on your phone, download it to your phone, whatever it is, you know, to help motivate you on a day-to-day basis. Setting goals is the first step into turning the invisible into the visible. So that's what we have to do. We have to turn the invisible, the things that we don't see, into the visible. Start writing those things down, your goals down. You start look. You're looking at it on a day-to-day basis. So you're turning those things that are in your head invisible into the visible form to the point where you're able to achieve those goals on a day-to-day basis. Number two, create a plan. Create a schedule. You know, it's very important that we create schedules. Schedules help us stay on track. Um, And a lot of times we can create schedules for so many different things. We can create schedules for work, for sleep, for exercise, business, family time, and personal time. All of those things. Create a schedule. Write down what you're going to do between what hours. That will help you stay on track, especially those people who, say, for instance, are trying to lose weight, want to live a healthier lifestyle. Whether it's trying, You may not even be trying to lose weight, but just want to live healthier, you know. Write down a schedule, the time that you're going to get up, when you're going to work out, when you're going to eat, when you're going to sleep, you know, when are you going to spend time with your family? Have that schedule and stick to it. You know, it's very important that we stick to a schedule. Sometimes even when if you're trying to change the way you eat, it's very important. If you want to begin eating healthy, start prepping your meals, start planning your meals ahead of time as far as what you're going to cook for the week, you know, so you'll already be prepared as far as the ingredients you'll need when you go to the grocery store. So you won't be spending hours and hours at the grocery store, you know, things of that nature. Um, create your workout schedule for the week. You know, what, what body parts are you going to work out during that time? What are you going to do? Are you going to go to the gym? Are you going to stay at home? Whatever the case may be. And also have your things packed and ready to go. You know, that's also another thing that will help you, you know, stay on track. It's very important. Create a schedule. A lot of times motivation is what gets you started, but habits is what keeps you going. So that's what we have to do. We have to create habits. We have to create good, healthy habits, whether it's eating, whether it's exercising, whether it's, you know, um, you know, motivating other people, you know, getting out there, talking to people about the business, about the sprays, you know, creating those good habits. It takes 21 days to form a habit. So that's what we have to do. We have to continue to do things over and over and over again repetitiously in order to create a habit. And it takes 21 days to do so. So say, for instance, if you get sluggish on you know, talking to 10 people or talking to five people a day. Continue to do that on a day-to-day basis. Create it to the point where, okay, you talked to 10 people today. Okay, that was your goal for the day. You've met your goal for the day. Continue to do that until 
before before you know it, you've reached your 21 days and to the point where a habit is formed. So now you're doing consistently over and over again without even having to give it a second thought. Number three, sleep. Sleep is so important. And insufficient sleep is now becoming a public health epidemic. Now, sleep can make or break us. You know, it makes our life, it changes our lives in so many ways. You know, sleep is so extremely important. And this is the, body, the time that our body uses to heal, also recover. You know, during, during sleep, our body repairs itself and also tissue growth occurs. You know, there's so many things that occurs um, that happens while we're asleep. And there's so many stages of sleep. You know, so that's why it's very important that we sleep on a consistent basis, that we get the adequate amount of sleep that we need. You know, a lot of the the average American usually sleeps about five hours, you know, which is not enough. It's not enough, even though we may feel, you know, after five hours of sleep, after doing it so for so long, our body's getting used to it. But that's a problem because our body's not getting the adequate amount of time that it needs to recover and repair itself. A lot of times when we don't get enough sleep, guess what? We end up getting sick. That's one way that I can actually tell if I'm not getting enough rest. My body is telling me something because our immune system begins to shut down. You know, a lot of those things, all, a lot of things that happen when we don't get enough sleep. The lack of sleep can contribute to adrenal failure. Every time you sleep and your sleep cycle is altered, it takes days or weeks for your cortisol levels to adjust. Now, your cortisol is your stress hormone. And when increase when your cortisol levels increase in the body pretty much your cortisol heightens alertness so it makes you alert so cortisol is important and it helps the part of the body's response to stress it's also known as a stress hormone it is involved in proper glucose metabolism regulation of blood pressure insulin release of blood sugar maintenance immune function and also inflammatory response but when we have prolonged levels of cortisol within the blood, that has been shown to negatively affect cognitive performance, thyroid function, blood sugar imbalance, high blood pressure, also even to the point where it can increase abdominal fat, as well as lower the immunity and infl- inflammatory responses in the body. So that's why it's very important that we get a as enough sleep as possible because when we don't get enough sleep it throws off the hormones in our bodies you know even to the point the hormones that actually regulate you know the 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 feelings that we we get when we're hungry and also the 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 feeling that we get when we're full so it regulates regulates those hormones the ghrelin and leptin within the body. So it's very important that we get enough sleep. The sleep is very important because it can cause so many different things when we don't get enough sleep. It can cause us to be, our hormones to be thrown off to where we may be overeating or we may even not be realized that we're hungry, you know, or that we're not even hungry. So it can cause our balance to be, our bodies to be thrown off completely and make a major change within our bodies. Also, it plays a major uh, part in how we look on a day-to-day basis. Have you looked at somebody who has only, you know, slept only one or two hours and then going to work another eight to 12 hours? They look tired. They look fatigued. They look worn out. You know, and and long-term, that can play major, major issues on our body and cause other issues and problems within the body. Number four, but remember this, muscles are torn in the gym. They're fed in the kitchen, but they're built in the bed. So it's very important that we get enough sleep, that we eat enough, even when we're working out. Number four, drink water. When we don't drink enough water, every body, every cell in the body is affected. I talked a little bit about this last week, the importance of drinking water. It helps 
with regularity. So it helps with your digestive system. We talked about, you know, having a clean digestive system is very important, you know, with a lot of things, with our health, with our immune system, with losing weight, all of those things. Water also helps regulate body temperature. It helps protect organs and tissues. It helps dissolve minerals within the body and so much more. And those of you who are looking for a financial benefit of drinking water, one is water is more cheaper than any juice or soda that you may buy. So that's another thing why water is so important. We have to have water. It's very important. Choose water over soda. If you want something to drink, you know, and if you need a little flavor, add, add some fruit to your water. I, I guarantee you're going to feel so much better. It's so so much healthier. It doesn't contain all of those sugars, all of those. Drink more water. Number five, eat six meals a day. And when I mean eat six meals a day, you're eating your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, and then your snacks in between those meals. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Skipping breakfast can make you four and a half more times likely to become obese. Why? Because you're not setting your body into a starvation mode. When we skip breakfast, you know, Breakfast, what is what is breakfast? When you breakfast is breaking the fast. You slept for anywhere between five to eight to nine hours per night each night. And when you get up in the morning, first thing you should do is you should eat something because you're breaking that fast. You just fasted for eight five to eight hours. Now you need to feel you, you need to fuel your body so it can do what it needs to do to wake up to go throughout the day. And when we don't do that, our body is in our starvation mode. So we get up in the morning, we go out through our day, but we haven't eaten anything. We haven't fueled our body to wake up, to be full of energy, you know, and it's given that, us that energy that we need to start our day. And so when we don't do that, our body's in our starvation mode. So one thing that it tends to do, it, it tends to not burn the fat you know, and use it for energy because it's saying, okay, my body's in starvation mode, so I don't know when my next meal is going to be, which is a problem if those who are trying to lose weight or anybody because that means your your body begins to store fat. Even when you eat eat at lunchtime, you're going to, you may tend to overeat because you skip breakfast, you know, and to the point where now your body's saying, okay, well, I'm just going to use a portion of this for energy and I'm going to save the rest of this, you know, for, 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 for later because I'm not exactly sure when my next meal is going to be. So it's very important that we consistently eat approximately every three hours. And I'm not saying big meals, but I'm saying healthy, small meals something of a lot of nutritional value. You want to stay away from the starches. You want to stay away from the sweets and the sugars. You want to stick to your protein, your your complex carbs, which are which contain your fibers, your, your vegetables, all of those things. You know, that's what you want to eat and stick to. Prepare meals, you know, for the entire week. That's another thing can actually help you keep on track with you know, eating consistently throughout the day. And it will prevent you from going out, like if you're hungry, from going out trying to purchase something because you don't, you didn't maybe cook anything or you don't have time to cook anything or anything like that. And, or if you're so too hungry to wait to cook anything. That will help you stay within your fitness goals. You know, get a cooler or a lunchbox, pack all your meals for the entire day. You know, that's what I, that's what you know, Chris and I try to do, we try to prep our meals ahead of time, you know, and then, you know, pre prepare everything to the point where we're not going out and eating out a lot, you know, and if you do eat out, choose healthy choices, try to choose wisely what you're eating, what you're consuming, you know, stay away from a lot of those processed foods. Now, if you're trying to get out of debt, this is another way to help cut your grocery bill. You know, if you pick, you know, three meals, could prep those on a weekend or a day that you're not working or anytime you have free time. Take one or two hours, cook all of those meals, get you some Tupperware containers, prep, you know, get you some vegetables, get you some, some carbs, all of your size, whatever you're going to cook. Prep that for the entire week to the point where you have three meals. You have your breakfast, lunch, your dinner, then you have your snacks already prepared, ready to go in Ziploc bags, your fruit, your apples, whatever the case may be, whatever it is, you know, prepare those, put those, if you know you have a long day, get you a cooler, you know, a small cooler, get you a big lunch box, whatever the case may be, put all your meals in there, pack them up with you go, 
that's what I do. When I go to work, they are like, Shakina, how do you stay so small and you eat so much? Because I'm eating consistently <laughs> and I'm not overeating. I'm always eating consistently to the point where my glucose levels aren't depleted so much. You know, and when we're, when we're not eating, guess what our body does? Our body and our brain begins to shut down because we're getting tired, we're getting fatigued, you know, and our glucose levels decrease. And then what, when, when we eat, boom, it raises back up. But what we have to do is maintain those glucose levels within our bodies at a steady rate. And the way you do that is you eat consistently throughout the day. And that's the key. And say, for instance, what if, well, what if, you, you know, what if I don't eat? You know, I'm not used to eating three meals a day. I only eat once a day or twice a day. Form habits. It's a habit that you have to form. So if you don't feel like eating and you know you need to eat breakfast, eat, start eating something small to the point where your body is going to realize, okay, you're going to start getting used to eating breakfast. You're going to start eating, getting used to eating a snack after, then lunch, then another snack, then dinner. Form those habits. You have to form those habits. You know, it's very important that you do that because at the end of the day, it's going to help you lose and reach the, the fitness goals that you're trying to reach and also help maintain your energy levels throughout the body. There was a study done back in, in the 1980s on the amount of money that was spent on what for groceries. Back in, in the 1980s, 11% of the money spent on groceries was that on processed foods and sweets with meat being the highest at 31%. Now, and this was according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Now, in the two, around 2012, there was another, another study shown that the amount of money spent on processed foods increased and in sweets increased from 11% to 22.9%. And that's leading over everything over anything that's purchased as far as your meats, your vegetables, anything. And meats followed at 21.5%. Now, if you think about that, back in the 1980s, only 11% of the money spent on the grocery bills was for on processed foods and sweets. And now it's 22, doubled, 22%. And it's higher than any other thing that's purchased. That's a problem because you're seeing a trend. Number one, you're seeing you know, more health issues, more health problems. You're seeing that people with type 2 diabetes, you know, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, cardiovascular disease, all of these different ailments. And there's a rise, you know, of, of things that's being manufactured and purchased the foods and the sweets and stuff. So that right there shows us that, okay, we have to change our habits. We have to form good habits in order to live healthier lifestyles. Number six, limit the sugar intake. It's okay to treat yourself. I'm not saying don't ever eat sweets. I'm not saying that I don't ever eat sweets. I'm not saying that. But limit your sugar intake because sugar is not good for you. Sugar causes fat storage in the body and also around the liver. Women, it's recommended according to the American Heart Association that women only consume about six teaspoons, which is 24 grams of sugar daily. For men, nine teaspoons, which is 36 grams of sugar daily. Now, if you think about that, there's about 28 grams of sugar in one juice. Even, even the actual, you know, you, you know, you may see like the fruit smoothie juices in the, um, you know, the health food section or like the um, the ones that have like all the the green leafy vegetables and it says um, like the naked or the the boathouse, all of those. Look at those. Those also contain a high amount of sugar. So I recommend if you like those smoothies, you know, or anything like that, make your own smoothies. Buy you some fruit, buy you some kale, buy you some spinach, some bananas. That's my favorite thing. You know, bananas are very sweet. Buy all of those things. Make your own smoothies at home, you know, and they're, they're a lot more healthier, you know, and you already know what's in them. It's very, very important that we do that. Number seven, exercise. Exercise helps reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease and also helps prevent cancer, high blood pressure, all of those different ailments. Those are, have been studies that have been shown. When you exercise, it reduces your risk of so many things, 
so many different things, so many different problems that you may happen when you, if you don't exercise. The importance of exercise, stay on track. You know, if you want to lose weight, if you want to have a, a certain fitness goal, whatever the case may be, if you, if there's, you know, a picture of what your body, if you want your body to look like it, put it, put it out somewhere. Say what your goals are. I want to lose 20 pounds. I want to, you know, have a six pack. I want to build muscle, whatever it is. Write it out somewhere. Put it down somewhere. Put it on a wall somewhere where you can look at it every day. When you wake up, if that's the first thing that you're going to do, if you're going to work out in the morning, put it up. Put your clothes out at night ready to go. So all you have to do is get up, you know, get up, put jump in your clothes, you know, eat you some breakfast and head out to the door to get your workout in. Whatever it is, stay on that schedule. Stay on that schedule. Don't let anything deter you from that schedule unless it's for an emergency or unless it's your body telling you that you actually need to rest. It's very important that we incorporate that. Number eight, I know everybody's going to get excited about this. Spray daily and drink your trim. That is so important. Supplementation is so important. Without supplementation, eating right, exercise, and rest, all of those things come together. Those work hand in hand. It's like you can't have one without the other. So it's very important that we spray on a day-to-day -day basis. And guess what? We have, we have something that nobody else has. You know, we have vitamin sprays that actually has an absorption rate that, that's out of this world. Do you understand what I'm saying? We don't have to go around with bags and bottles of pills in our bag, in our in our book bag, in our workout bag, in our purse, you know, we don't in our closet, in our pantries. We don't have to worry about that because we have sprays that are ninety eight percent absorbent. We don't have to worry about trying to swallow something and based upon the route that it's going through your digestive system, and we're only going to obtain about 5 to 10 to 15% of that because it's going to be destroyed by the gut. But guess what? We have sprays that are orally, that go straight directly to your bloodstream. Within seconds, you have the nutrients and the vitamins and the minerals that you need. That B Boost, it gives you that extra energy that you need to go throughout the day. Spray if you want it, the extra boost for your workout. If you feel fatigued, if you feel tired, spray the boost. You know, that Super 10 helps with the iron and minerals. The iron and minerals are so important because they help with nourishment. But even... See, even I didn't even realize that the, the ionic minerals are so important because it also helps with neurotransmitter function of the brain. So it helps those the, our brain to fire and transmit signals throughout the body. That is so important, especially in our children and making sure that they're able to function properly at school to make sure they're able to focus and think, you know, because a lot of times, guess what? I've done away with the gummy vitamins and all of that. Oh, no, we don't do those. Because we have something that our children even love. We have something that our children want to use on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, I, I have, we, we, you know, Chris and I, we've used a lot of different, a lot of different vitamins before coming into Team Effort Network. And to the point where we've done sublingual, we've done so many different things. Our children have, we've had our children try so many different things, but these sprays, you know, these sprays are awesome to the point where our children are even want to tell other people about them. Oh, you need, oh, you need the slim. I'm like, Kenny, Janiah, you can't say that. That's, you know, but she's, she's being honest and she's being saying, okay, she knows what, what you need. She knows the importance of what's in what, what's going to make you feel better. You know, if she's feeling down, if she's not feeling too well, you know, let's, let's spray some cell energy. Do you want some cell energy? Yes, mom, I want some cell energy. That's the importance. We're teaching our children, we're teaching our families, we're teaching the people around us the importance and the benefits of these sprays. You know, they're, these these sprays have been so life changing. They've helped. They've helped so many people with so many different things, like high blood pressure, that that suffer with type two diabetes. You know, those people that want to lose weight, that want to target that weight loss, that visceral fat within that midsection. You know, that slim helps that, and also this trim. This trim is is wonderful because combined with these sprays, it actually does a major, major work on your digestive tract. It helps keep your digestive system clean as it should be. 
And a lot of times we don't have a good digestive system because of what we're consuming. But guess what? This trim helps balance that all out. Everything that it contains helps us keep a healthy digestive system. It helps keep us regular before we're able to reach those fitness and health goals that we want. You know, you'll see a decline in sickness because of the healthy digestive system that you're going to have because of this trim. It's very important. These sprays are so awesome and so life-changing. You know, I can't keep enough sprays because, you know, I have so many people wanting them. I have so many people that are on them consistently, the point where people are being changed. You know, people family members are seeing a, a difference in their in their behavior, you know, even those who have suffered with dementia or, you know, whatever the case may be. They've seen so many changes. And that's what you want. You want a product that can change people's lives. You want something that can help change your life. And then you can help other people change their lives physically as well as financially. The B boost is so important because, you know, the B vitamins within it help form red blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen throughout the body and also remove waste. So that's why this B boost is so important. That's why it gives you that extra energy that it needs, that you need, because it helps form those red blood cells that contain the oxygen that you need to go out throughout your day. Number nine, keep a food journal or exercise journal or whatever your goals are. Keep a journal for that. Document your, your progress. It helps you stay on track. If you document what you ate for the day, what did you eat? What did you exercise? You know, how did you exercise? What did you do? You know, a lot of times you don't even have to go to the gym you know, to, to exercise, you can do something in the comfort of your own at home. You don't have to have, if you don't have a gym membership, you can't afford a gym membership, or you're just trying to stay within a certain budget, trust and believe you can get the same workout at home as you can in the gym. You just got to understand what to do. You know, there's so many things you got to do something to get that heart rate up, but it's so important. Keep a journal, keep a journal. If you keep that journal, okay. That's Chris in the background talking. <laughs> but if you keep a journal, it's going to help you, you know. And if you don't know what to do, you can always email us. There's no problem. You can always email us results by day, and, and, and we can help you reach those goals that you're trying to reach. You know, we're here to help each other, and that's what it's all about. We are a team. We are here to help each other meet our goals, whether it's financially, whether it's physically, whatever it is. Write down your progress so you can actually see. That helps you hold yourself accountable. What did I eat today? Because if you, I guarantee if you start tracking down what you ate and what you consumed for that day and you start feeling a certain way and you start documenting that as well, how do you feel after you ate that? Did you feel full of energy? Did you feel tired, fatigued? What, how did you feel? That will help you try to understand exactly how your body works. How does your body feel when you consume certain things? And also, what results did you receive from eating these things? What results did you receive from exercising this way? You know, all of those different things. Keep a journal. Take pic pictures. Take measurements. Document your energy levels. You know, what did you eat if you got sick? All of that. Document that. And number 10, motivate others. That's what it's all about. To me, even though I try to live a healthier lifestyle, what my satisfaction comes from is helping other others reach that same lifestyle, helping others reach, you know, whatever it is, whether it's financially, we have that. With this compensation plan, we can help people get out of debt. We can help people obtain their financial goals that they're trying to trying to reach, you know, whatever it is, whether it's trying to help them live a healthier lifestyle, start eating right, start exercising, whether it's trying to get them to the point where they're no longer dependent on high blood medic blood pressure medication. They're 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 losing weight. All of those things. We have something in hand that can help in all of those areas. It's just up to us to help motivate each other. Sometimes we ourselves get off track and get down and don't feel motivated. But 
remember, put it out there. Put it right there in front of you so you can look at it every day. So you will not forget every day. And then go out there and help other people and motivate them and help push them to reach their goals. You understand? Because it's always a lot easier and better when you have someone behind you or you have someone in, in your ear coaching you saying, you can do it. You can push yourself. Come on. When you have that, you can do so much more. You know, that's the importance of teamwork. We're a team. We work together. We help push each other, push each other to the next level. And I'm going to close with these three quotes. I'm going to make it for the rest of my life. And I'm going to make the rest of my life the best of my life. I will not be stopped. A tiger doesn't lose sleep over the opinions of sheep. Thank you, Dr. Denise. Thank you so very much, girl. You know, you really motivate us on Wednesdays with information that you bring to the call, and this is incredible. Uh, you know, I agree with you in keeping that journal. Uh, I think at the, it was at the um, launch of, our, of 10 this year when I heard that we all uh, have a story that is yet to be told. And I think since we've been a team at the network, we all have a story that is yet to be told. And it's the keeping of that journal that's going to help you to tell your story. You need to really just start documenting where you've been, where you were before coming into team effort, and where you are now, and the different lives that you've helped to change. And as you can, this is what I got out of your, your information you gave us today, the importance of setting goals, of planning, creating that schedule, you know, getting the sleep that you need, drinking the water that the body needs, and eating six meals a day, taking the sugar out of your, your diet, exercising, and spray, spray, spray. My goodness, thank God for the vitamin sprays and a trim by 10 and keeping that journal and to motivate others. We all have a story that has yet to be told, and I think it's good to start keeping that journal so we can have, we can share, you can share your story around the world. This is an amazing thing we're doing. And as Shakina say, we are here to help one another. We're here to build each other up and to build each other's team. And, to, and it's all about that. It's all about helping one another to get to where we all want to be because we're all going to reach the top together. We're going to reach it together because we're going to help each other together. Shakina Day, once again, thank you so very, very much. Family, I don't want you to forget. Hey, um, Pastor B. Yes, sir. Pastor B, real quick. Uh, uh -huh. I, w I was driving. I, I didn't get a chance to write down something she said. Uh, uh -huh. uh, Shakina, uh, mm -hmm. you said something about you said something about the kitchen and something about the gym. What was that, what was that phrase you used? The, um, about the kitchen something and the gym. Yeah, something is built in the kitchen. Start, start and something. The, yeah. start the kitchen. Oh, yes. That's right. Muscles, remember, muscles are torn in the gym, fed in the kitchen, and built in the bed. Built in the bed. Wow. Great. And I love that quote. Tigers lose no sleep over the opinion of sheep. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> 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 Great information. Thank you for that. Thank you, Shakina Day. So, Pastor Dale, you got that quote. What is it again? What did you say? What is Pastor Dale? What do you mean, the tigers? No, the three things that she gave us about the muscle. Torn in the gym. Uh, what, torn in the gym, built in the kitchen, and. Fed in the it. kitchen and built in the bed. Fed. Fed in the kitchen. And Fed in the, the kitchen. Bed. Mm-hmm. And built there we in go. the bed. Fed. Fed in the bed. Okay. So we need some muscles. Somebody, but we can tell folks are not getting enough sleep and don't have any muscles, right? Right, Shakina? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. I got you. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> so Clay, you've been seeing all these muscles I got, right? You've been seeing my yes. muscles right in here.
Oh, Great God. call, Christina. As always, tremendous call. Thank you so much. We get something out of every call that you do. We appreciate you being on the team. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. We really do appreciate you so much. You and Chris and tell Chris, we hear him in the background. Tell him we got to get him back on the call again. He's been holding out. Got him to come back to the call. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, look, don't forget tomorrow here on the Animation Topic, we're going to have the one and the only Denise Moore here for our TTP tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock at the uh, Country Club at Woodmore. I would suggest if you have guests, friends, and prospects, you want to get them in the house. We also have some guests coming from Atlantic City. Uh, Susie is coming in from Atlantic City. So we're going to have some guests in the house. Denise Moore is going to be there. We're going to have a phenomenal TTP tomorrow, 7 o'clock at the Country Club in Woodmore. You want to be there. If you're in this area, NCA, you have got to be there. It's going to be an amazing event. Um, let's go out to the U.K. now. Dr. Poole, we're running out of time. But please bring us our quote for today. Will do, will do. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic, fantastic information, fantastic call. And actually, I felt exactly the same as Dale. You know, that, that um, quote that you used, Shakina, I loved it. Muscles are torn in the gym, made or set in the kitchen, built or rested in sleep. That is it, folks. And you know, the TN sprays, the trim by 10, it complements that absolutely because muscles yes you can overwork them they can get torn but you know if you have the right diet you have the right sleep you have enough protein uh you know what what shakina was saying was so so important because you need protein and you need the right nutrition to rebuild the muscles that's why she said they're set or made in the kitchen but you have to have enough sleep for uh the the, the muscles to clear the lactic acid to clear the toxins when you've exercised. So it's a balance with all of it. And, you know, all your points, Shakina, absolutely fantastic. So, um, in fact, you know, some statistics, um, by 2030, two-thirds of the UK are going to be obese. That also reflects the world. It is costing currently the UK $8 billion for the healthcare system. Them. That's in pounds. You can kind of um, literally dollars. It's about one and a half times those pounds. It's over 10 billion. Now, these figures, the states, is your population is five times as big as the UK. So everything I'm saying, you can times it by five. That's how big your market is. You know, 10 billion is the cost of diabetes. That is bigger than the budget for the police force, the fire force, the uh, you know, law and enforcement. These are huge statistics, folks, and you've got in your hands sprays and drinks that can possibly help people. So share, 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 and set your goals. Jim Rohn said you want to set a goal that is big enough that in the process of achieving it, you become someone worth becoming. You will become that someone worth becoming because these products are so incredibly valuable. The opportunity is so incredibly valuable. Set your goal big, dream big, go out and share it. Andrew Carnegie said, if you want to be happy, set a goal that commands your thoughts, liberates your energy, and inspires your hopes. Hope and dream. Dream big, play big, go out there, folks. Back to you, Denise. Thank you, Dr. Nita Poole. Thank you so very much. And you're online today, family. Don't forget Dr. Poole is live at join.myvideocall.com, HTTP, um, colon, backslash, backslash, join.myvideocall.com. So then for 10 minutes, follow on the call. If you have any questions or to do uh, to help you with understanding anything with the vitamin sprays or the trim by 10. So let's try Absolutely. And Denise, sorry to interrupt you there. I have ready and I'm going to release to everyone. Here is a site. If you haven't got any training, if you haven't got any testimonials, if you don't know how big the research is on all the ingredients in these products, if you need a PowerPoint, if you need a slide, if you need a picture of the products because you haven't got them yet, whatever it is you need, if you need the forms, whatever it is, I've done a training site. It's called www.anitapooltraining.teameffortinternational.com. .co.uk. 
It's called International because that's our parent company, and it's got training on everything that we do, basically. It is not a corporate training. It's just produced by me. You can use whatever you want to on it. You can change whatever. You know, you can download stuff. You can change stuff. It's there to help everyone. We need to grow big, 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 folks. Now's the time. Feel free to use it. Back to you, Denise. Thank you, Dr. Pooh. There you go, Sam. Everything is being provided for you uh, to have a better, stronger business. Sammy, it's been a great call for Kina today. Thank you once again for the wonderful information you shared with us today. Um, family, don't forget to join the Spanish call that's going to start in about 15 minutes. Uh, right here on this call, it's Spanish, a Spanish-speaking guest. Get them on the call. That's 9, 10 uh, a.m. Uh, Pacific, uh, 12, 10 Eastern Standard Time. Right here, the same number. We get your Spanish-speaking guest on. And don't forget, join Don Joseph tonight. That's 8 o'clock p.m. Pacific Time, 11 o'clock Eastern Time. So uh, join tonight here at the same number. Get your guests on here, some wonderful information, testimonies about the company and the compensation plan. And um, and don't forget, family, if you're here on the East Coast, here in the NCA area, join us tomorrow at our TTT. It's going to be phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal event. Get your guests in the house. It's going to be incredible. Well, great call today. Thank you all for being here. Now, get off this phone and get out there and tell someone the great news that you heard today because they are waiting to hear from you. Be back with us again tomorrow morning as we continue to go forth on 50 million in the next 18, going on 17 months now, family. Get a position because we're going and we're going fast. Love you, family. You are loved. You are appreciated. God bless you all. And have a prosperous day on purpose.